get ready for the most in-depth fleece lined legging review you've ever seen. Guys, it is winter. It is freezing and you know what? I was on a walk the other day with just some regular leggings. I came back home, my butt, the cheeks were freezing. And then that was my official sign that it is time to review all of the most highly recommended fleece lined leggings and see if they're actually gonna keep my butt warm because I don't like being cold. I live in Las Vegas and that's intentional guys. I don't like anywhere where it's too cold. You know what? It's been getting a little too chilly here. I actually did try to film a fleece lined legging review like either one or two years ago. Like I literally bought all the leggings for it. I don't know. I just don't think I chose very good options because I was taking them out of the bags and I think I might've even started filming it but I just, I hated every single legging. So we, we scrapped the idea. And here we are after having done a little bit more research. I will say if you search like best fleece lined leggings on Google, you come up with a bunch of like articles that just, you just know that the person who wrote the article didn't actually try any of the leggings. And that's not what we do here. Here, we put things to the test. So today we'll be going over, gosh, I have like a big stack. This is going to be a lengthy review. So as always, there will be timestamps to jump around to whatever like leggings you guys are interested in and I will do a recap at the end of which ones I think did the best but I will be including several affordable as well as a little more high-end options depending on your guys's budget so all of these leggings are considered fleece lined or at least thicker leggings but just a fair warning because these are like kind of thicker leggings as the name implies most of these are not going to be cheek sculpting you know so we know i like a two cheek look not into the unibutt but sometimes you have to make sacrifices for warmth and because these are going to be on the thicker side we're not expecting high on the booty scale today okay so everyone just take your expectations down a notch today we're prioritizing warmth i'll also be including a lot of like evergreen type options in this video too i do review a lot of launch based brands on this channel just because that's what you guys ask for a lot but if you're finding this video like a year later and you still want to find a pair of these leggings hopefully they're still selling them because a lot of these brands do tend to bring back these leggings year after year and as i was reading through a lot of those articles suggesting the best fleece lined leggings a lot of them were kind of more like leggings you're meant to wear like under a dress which is like what is this the early 2000s like i understand the trends are coming back but i'm not wearing leggings under my dresses i guess you know if you have to if you live somewhere super super cold personally you know i don't live somewhere where i need to go that way but in this video we are focusing more on leggings that can be worn by themselves so not the kind of leggings you need to wear under something not like tights but something with like an actual waistband that should actually be squat proof functional as actual pants alone if that makes sense so we all know that i have my normal list of legging metrics that i go through each video like compression um how flattery they are on the glutes etc but this video we will also be adding in a little comparison of the actual thickness of the leggings not that thickness always equates to heat but i think you know, sometimes it does. So we'll be looking at how thick the leggings are. I'll also be weighing all of the leggings. Obviously this is going to vary a little bit. I did get a size small and everything, or if the brand had number sizes, I got a four. If the leggings are longer inseam and things like that, obviously the weight will be different, but just kind of like a general idea. We'll also be talking about wearability. Are they more of a layering legging like we talked before, or are they are legging that can be worn by themselves. We'll also be looking at the inside lining of the legging. Is it an actual fleece lining? What is it and finally i think this is a great idea personally i did come up with it myself but i can't obviously go on like a walk in each of these leggings just because i don't have that many days to do this but i am going to wear these outside on my patio for I will we'll say a set amount of time and then I'm going to sit on my unpadded patio furniture that is cold and we're gonna see if my butt is cold or not after that so I just feel like that's the ultimate test because my butt always gets cold when my leggings aren't thick enough without further ado let's start talking about the leggings okay so we're starting out with a pair of leggings that kind of inspired this video these are the Petula bear warmth leggings these are not a true fleece line legging but these are going to be the ideal legging if you're looking for something a little bit thicker but still kind of flattering on the glutes still no front seam if you guys know Petula, you know their bear leggings are one of my favorites they're a fan favorite too they're just ultra soft and cozy ultra thin so these are the bear warmth which are a thicker version of the Petula bear leggings and they have 
have a more dense internal lining. They called them a fleece lining, but it's just really not. It's just really not fleece. Anyways, these have a crisscross waistband, no front seam, and slightly tapered glute seams in the back. I would say that these are definitely warmer than all of my like average leggings, but they're not going to be nearly as thick as some of the other leggings we're trying today because those, we got some thick boys. We got some thick, thick ones here. Okay, so in terms of legging thickness, we'll do a comparison of all of them at the end, but you could see, you know, it's not super thick. Fabric up close is an ultra soft marled material, very similar to the classic Petula Bear, but it is just a little more densely brushed. And then here is the inside. Again, just a little more brushed. So if you're watching this video and you're like, those aren't gonna be warm enough for me, stay tuned. We have a lot more. I just really wanted to go over these. So let's try these on. All right, guys. So here are the Bear Warmth leggings. So these are, in terms of thickness, I would still say that they're thin legging. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're not warm, but that's how I would rate them. Um, they are a seamless waistband, no front seam. The only no front seam legging of the day. Definitely the most like gym friendly. Like you could still wear this to the gym. You could still wear this for lifestyle. So I would say that this is definitely a very wearable legging. It does have a crisscross waistband. I would say that these are quite a bit more compressive than the regular Petula Bear leggings. So this is a size small. I could probably do a medium as well and not have it be loose just maybe a little less compressive these are about a medium compression comes in 23 and 26 inch inseam these might be sold out right now but i do expect them to bring them back the booty scale these are going to be the highest rated of the day these are going to be medium high on the booty scale still can kind of go up in the cheeks contour a little bit they're very stretchy and the seams go above the glutes and i would actually give these a cellulite friendly rating because they still are a little bit on the thicker side and they have that marl to it so here is the full length view i definitely am a big fan of these leggings i didn't realize until right now that the cross waist is actually sewn down you can't like pull it apart. And now let's go do our very first cold test. I think for the sake of me not freezing, we're gonna do like one minute outside. So 60 seconds and I'm going to sit my little booty on a cold surface and we'll see. It'll be a pretty subjective measurement, but if my butt feels cold, then we know these did not quite do the trick. Okay guys, I went out I sat. My hands are definitely significantly colder than my butt. I was really excited about this cold test, guys, and then it's 50 degrees today. So not as cold as I expected, but it was still cold enough for me to be cold out there. And I have to say that my legs weren't super cold, but I don't know if I had to give these like a warm scale, I might just have to add a metric in like the warm scale being like, I don't know, low, medium, high, high as in going to keep you the most warm. And I feel like these are about low to medium. Okay. This is hard. So, okay. So here's how my scale is going to be low, will be like still keeping you warmer than a regular pair of leggings. So like a regular pair of leggings doesn't even make the scale. So if it's low, it still keeps you warmer than a regular pair of leggings, but it's low compared to all the other ones. So this one's gonna get low to medium, still gonna be a little bit warmer, but I would not, you know, go in a negative 20 degree day. I don't even know what that feels like. So yeah, still warm not crazy warm. Next, I got the Athleta Altitude Stash Tight in Polar Tech Power Stretch. So Polar Tech is their like ultra warm fleece lined line, I guess. So I have tried the Athleta Stash Tights before. Those are their pocket leggings and these feel significantly different. Like these are like a like almost squishy it's almost like a sweatshirt material in legging form so these are definitely on the higher price point they were 119 dollars i bought them for 99 dollars. i was kind of shopping around black friday times so there were some sales i got a size small size range is pretty good for these it's extra extra small to 3xl and they have three lengths i don't think i got the tall length because they did not have that in my size okay we have a classic legging waistband in the front it does have thick elastic at the top it doesn't seem like the kind of elastic that's going to be so thin and constricting that is going to give you a muffin top but there's definitely an elastic up there it might need it because these leggings are like well actually they're not that heavy but they're just like you know they could they could weigh you down a little bit but it does have one of those internal loop drawstrings that I still have never figured out how to tie these. Maybe we'll figure that out one day. I'll list all of the fabric compositions as I always do at the end of each item, but this one's a 53% polyester, 38% nylon, 9% spandex. There is a zippered pocket in the back of the waistband that is fleece lined as well. So here's the inside of the lining. So the outside of the legging is this like plush material. It probably will attract a little bit of pet fur. It's not like a sleek performance material, but it's also not your classic brushed legging material. Side pockets and it does have that little seam 
that a lot of pocket leggings have. And so these are a true fleece lined legging, completely fleece lined. I hope that they're not, oh my gosh, guys, they might be a little bit sheer. You charged too much money for these to be sheer. Are we serious? We'll see how they are. I obviously will have to squat test all of these. And then when it comes to thickness of the leggings, these are definitely significantly thicker than the Petula ones. Let's try this on. Okay, so here are the Athletas. So these are surprisingly lower compression than I expected. The material, while being thick, is actually like very lightweight, very stretchy, and does not really compress you at all. So they are very comfy. Liking them more than I thought, I will say this material does collect quite a bit of pet fur and kind of wants to hold on to it, although it's not a brushed material. So it has that elastic at the top. This was an issue I had with some of um, Athleta's leggings before. They kind of fit everywhere else, but then the top elastic is a little bit loose for me. So we do have that drawstring here that you can tighten. I don't I don't know if this is the right way to do, to tighten that, but you can tighten that. We have a little front seam, um, could cause some problems, but everything is a front seam today. So we're just gonna have to live with it. Side pocket, pretty spacious over here. Booty scale, you know, it's, it's actually not as bad as I thought. I really thought we'd get a lot of flattening, but we're gonna go with a medium on the booty scale. Not great, but it's really not squishing me down. The seams could be a little bit higher. Definitely going to be cellulite proof. These are quite thick and just a very plush material. And here's the full length view. These are the regular inseam length, so maybe a tad short for me, but really not like too bad. I can kind of pull them down. And just wearing these right now, they do feel pretty warm. Like I feel like I could get hot in these easily. So definitely gonna be a little warmer on the warm scale. These are also definitely very wearable. They're not going to be a type of legging that you have to wear underneath something. You could exercise in these, do a quick little squat test with these. I was a little worried about the sheerness, but when they're on, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, in terms of the thickness, definitely would go for a thick for these. These might be like the thickest or second thickest of the day. And let's go take these outside. Post cold test. And I would say, I would say I'm still feeling pretty warm. So while my cold test may not be quite as accurate as I thought, I'm like really focusing on if I can feel how cold the seat is underneath me because it has metal on it and it gets pretty cold. I really wasn't feeling the cold in these that much. So maybe a teeny bit. So we're gonna go with medium to high on the cold scale. I think that these actually would be pretty good. All right, let's throw an affordable pair into the mix. These are the Amazon Willet fleece lined leggings. These are $30.99 and I got a size small size extra small to 3XL. I believe these were the highest rated fleece line leggings on Amazon. Already just taking these out of the bag, they feel like more of a classic legging material than the Athleta ones. Those definitely just felt like a sweatshirt in legging form. So these ones might give a little more shape. There is a top seam on these ones, but not an elastic like the Athleta ones. Actually, these are very similar to the Athleta ones. They also have that zippered pocket in the back. These ones are not fleece lined though, or at least the pocket isn't. Most of these leggings today are going to have front seams. Very unfortunate. Um, a lot of the brands that I like that don't make front seams don't make fleece lined leggings. So, ooh, the side pockets though, they are fleece lined and this fleece is, this fleece is soft. Side pockets, again, um, just kind of straight across the seams at the back. I do prefer this to that little arch seam that the Athleta ones had. And here is the fleece lining. Super, super soft. So definitely considered a fleece lined legging. And these ones look less sheer than the Athleta ones too. And here is just a little look at the thickness. Okay, so here these are. These are a size small and pretty snug everywhere on the legs, which I could just call, you know, compression, um, but I am getting a little gaping at the top of the waistband. Um, probably won't happen to everyone. I do have kind of like a smaller waist compared to my like hip measurement. So I still would consider these pretty true to size. It just would actually be nice if these had a drawstring like the Athleta and Lulu ones. These definitely feel like more of a classic legging material on the outside, not quite as sleek as some of the other ones today. So maybe more like Lululemon, Luan type material. We have good side pockets. They can still fit a phone. Side pockets are lined with that fleece interior. Overall thickness, they're definitely not as thick as the Athleta ones. So we're gonna go with medium thickness. I don't know if I already mentioned, but these do have a front seam. They could cause some problems, so just beware. And then here is the back. I actually think I might give these 
low to medium on the booty scale just because these actually have about a medium high compression they're pretty compressive and they do get a little tight when i bend my leg here so they are squishing me down just a little bit giving me a little pancake butt so i don't think they quite deserve low but just low to medium you have the little zip pocket back here oh it is it is actually fleece lined i think i said it wasn't but it does have the fuzzy lining um, the top band is not cutting into me. Oh, and these will also be cellulite friendly as well. Here is the full length view. Definitely, I would say a good affordable option. They still feel like they're going to be warm, but I wish they were just a little bit stretchier. Let's go do the cold test. Okay, cold test results. I do feel a little bit, a little bit of cold. I have to say when I was out there, I felt cold except for the bottom. Like I didn't really feel cold, but I think these maybe are a step down from the Athleta ones actually. So we're gonna go the warmth scale. We're gonna give them the solid medium. Still definitely gonna keep you warm, but not the warmest of the warm today. So I think that these could be improved with a little more stretch, but uh, you know, for an Amazon, like affordable legging, they're still pretty warm and I feel like they look like pretty normal, pretty sleek and I like the material, so not too bad. All right, next we have the Lululemon Fast and Free High Rise Fleece Tight. These are the 28 inch inseam. I got a size four and these are $138. So I have tried the Lululemon Fast and Free leggings before, just like the regular ones. And they are definitely like a performance kind of compressive legging. And taking these out of the bag, these are even a little step sleeker, more in the performance direction than the other leggings today so even more so than the amazon ones so i'm liking that and yeah we got some fleece lining so these definitely aren't like super heavy but sometimes you again like it doesn't need to be super thick to be warm so we have a sleek performance material um we do have a top seam not a top elastic very similar to the amazon willet ones but these ones also have that same little loop drawstring that the athleta ones had so I do think that's gonna be nice for a thicker legging like this. I just think that there's going to be a chance of these kind of sliding down. So it is nice to have the option of drawstring. These leggings have like so many pockets. I don't even know what, what you'd use these pockets for, but they have a million pockets. Um, they do have side pockets. I do think side pockets are helpful. Front seam and kind of a similar back design as the Athleta ones. So here is the legging fabric on the outside. Sleek performance, kind of similar to like their normal Luxe Dream. And then here is the inside. It is super soft fuzzy fleece lining but in terms of the thickness i would say that they're not super thick probably pretty similar thickness to the patula bare warmth okay guys so as i was putting these on the more i got these up my legs the less i liked them i was really liking how they felt at first i actually think that this like performance material looks like super sleek and like I don't know, almost just like high quality, but these have kind of that same issue that the Amazon ones had in that I bend my leg this much and it just, it just really lacks a lot of stretch. So we're getting a lot of compression, obviously in the areas where it's a little bit more snug for me, like the thighs, the butt. So we're gonna go with a medium high compression overall. I actually put these at a medium high rise, but I think these are more mid rise. I can't really get them up anymore. We do have a front seam, maybe causing a little bit of an issue, but not too bad. We do have a top band, also isn't a huge issue, but definitely could cut in a bit. So I love how the material is not going to collect any pet fur. The outside material feels really good, going be very pill resistant very high um, impact and i love how the fabric feels on the inside but the compression is just a little too much for me and it's not just compression because you can still have a high compression legging with stretch but this one as i'm bending down here like the knees are really tight so i also feel like they could definitely slide down a little bit but that's why we have that little drawstring so just solve that problem oh my gosh guys i think this might be the first low on the booty scale of the day like I feel so squished down. This seam is literally like, I like the seams to be way up here. It's in the middle of my butt. I'm feeling like a pancake. So we're gonna do low on the booty scale, unfortunately. I do think that these will be cellulite friendly. They're compressive, a little bit thicker. Really do like the material, but again, just falling a little short. Um, Overall thickness, I would definitely say that these are more on the thin side, a little bit thinner than the Amazon ones. So let's go see how these do with the cold test. They are feeling warm, wearing them inside here. And these are a 28 inch inseam for me. Post cold check, I would say definitely, mm, okay, obviously warmer than a classic legging, but I did feel the cold metal of where I was sitting right when I sat down. So I would say 
whatever I rated the Petula ones. Okay, so those got low medium. So we're gonna keep it the same. We're gonna go with low medium on the warm scale. Definitely good if it's just like a little bit chilly where you are and you don't wanna be like overwhelmingly hot. These would be like a good, like, you know, running or hiking kind of legging just to give you a little bit extra but not overwhelm you but it's not going to be you know they're not snow pants so. also in terms of sizing i do normally wear a four in lulu bottoms but i think these might just run a little bit small just because they don't have a lot of stretch so i would consider a size up and we forgot to talk about the pockets but very spacious side pocket here and then all these little things along the waistband are all little pockets again they're not very secure but you could probably fit a credit card in there next we have another kind of affordable option we have actually pretty affordable these are the old navy high-waisted ultra cozy fleece lined leggings got a size small originally 49 dollars, but never buy full price old navy i will just randomly get 30 percent off at least every single time so these i bought for 34 dollars, and much to my surprise i received two packages in the mail from old navy slash gap literally like back to back it was the old navy ones and the athleta ones um there's it's no secret that they're owned by the same parent company so i wonder if these are going to be like kind of just like a cheaper alternative to the athleta ones so far the thickness they're feeling the same and i'm actually liking the outer material a little bit better it's old navy it really can pop off sometimes just saying so size range extra small to 4xl and these also have three lengths i think i just got the regular length okay these are feeling thick so we have a seam at the top no elastic band no drawstring on these and so far this is the thickest plush um, fleece that I've seen in a lining. I'll show you that in a second. But the outside feels more similar to the Lululemon ones. It feels, or almost kind of more like the Will at Amazon ones. Not super slippery, but definitely more sleek performance. So here's the outside, kind of a shinier, going to be more pet fur resistant. And then this is the waistband lining. And then just wait, just wait. This is the lining on the inside. It is totally like you're wearing a fleece sweatshirt and this one looks totally opaque so already that wins compared to the athleta ones because i had a lot of hope for athleta i really liked them they just betrayed me with the sheerness you know old navy this is this is dense this is dense might keep these just for any winter activities and here's the thickness of the old navy ones might be the thickest maybe just behind the athletas. Okay, so we have some side zip pockets, which is a nice alternative. Oh, these might actually be vents. Oh my gosh, I think these are little vents. Yeah, I think this is a little vent. It's got mesh. Okay, what are these, ski pants? Similar little back seams there, and let's give it a try. I have high hopes for these. Okay, so here are the old navy leggings. So definitely some immediate pros and cons. So these are by far the thickest leggings of the day. I'm already predicting these are going to be a high on the warm scale. We do have that top band. It's not costing me any problems. We do have a front seam as well. I like how basic these look in the front and they're definitely still a sleek performance feel, but not quite as shiny as the Lululemon ones. We do have these little side um, vent pockets. Like I think that's my skin underneath. Yeah, so these are definitely little vent pockets, which is nice because these are a, a for sure a warm legging, but you can also fit some stuff in the pocket too. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be big enough for a phone. Oh, maybe, okay. Looks like we can fit a phone in the vent pocket. We'll love to see it. This is also a slightly different material. It's like almost more of a windbreakery material. So you hear definitely a little difference in fabric and there's a little bit down the leg as well. So these are definitely a heavier legging. Um, and I think that these could really benefit from an internal drawstring like the Lulu and Athleta ones had. So kind of bummed that they don't have it. I feel like we were talking a little too negatively about the Athleta ones. And then after I tried them on, I did actually like them a little more. So just so we know, Athleta ones, not so bad. Okay, and then we get to the back, lots of seams going on. And okay, so this fabric is definitely, it's more of a medium compression. So I'm not being squished and restricted nearly as much as the last two. We definitely have a little more range of motion, but I still feel like because these are so thick, they're gonna get a low on the booty scale. They're just they're just really not doing anything to flatter. And this seam is really low. So unfortunately, these are gonna be low on the booty scale. Definitely going to be very cellulite friendly though. This is a very thick plush material. Full length view, these are a 28 inch inseam. And let's go do the warmth test. Okay. Okay, so we just did the cold test and I think I accidentally like sat out there for longer than a minute because I didn't feel any cold in these. Like these are high on the warm scale, like 
I, I could really be out in the cold with these and feel very confident. So I feel like these are honestly the warmest of the day, very warm. They do have their drawbacks, but if you're just strictly looking for warmth, these might be the ones for you. All right, next we have the Airy Offline or Offline by Airy warm up draw cord leggings size small long originally fifty dollars but um again airy is also a brand that has a lot of sales and i got these for 27 dollars so technically the cheapest of the day okay so these are the warm up by aries and their description is this is our warm-up fabric feels like a cloud aka cozy and brushed on the inside to warm you up these leggings have pockets and a super brushed inside for extra warm and cozy xxs to xxl three lengths i did get the long length of these these are definitely not quite as thick but um they maybe they're just you know a step warmer than some of the other ones and again i don't know why i've been kind of attracted to the drawstrings but i just feel like with a heavier legging a drawstring can work and i also feel like occasionally having a drawstring on the outside of leggings is like cute it makes them kind of look like they have a more jogger feel so these are a heathered material feels pretty sleek to the touch. So again, drawstring at the front, they do have these little sewn on pockets. And this one is kind of reminding me of the Petula Bear Warmth, except the Bear Warmth was brushed inside and out. These ones are mostly just brushed on the inside. So here's the outer fabric. It is a marled material, but this one is not brushed on the outside. So it doesn't have that super fuzziness on the outside but it does on the inside. And here is the inside. Hopefully you can tell the difference. This is the non-brushed, this is the brushed. It is pretty soft. Here's a little look at the thickness. Probably pretty similar to the bare warmth leggings. They do have little cuffs at the bottom as well. I mean, these still are leggings, so I expect them to be snug all the way down. But again, they kind of have a jogger-like feel and just straight across in the back. Let's try these on. Okay, so here are the airy warm-up leggings. I think these are super cute, kind of like a cross between a jogger and a legging. I love these little front pockets. They're actually a really nice way to keep your hands warm because they are lined with the fuzziness. But these leggings are honestly most similar to like the baseline, like the regular Petula Bear. They're not as thick as the warmth leggings. At least they don't feel as thick because they are just single brushed inside only. So they're not brushed on the outside and usually having that brushness makes them a little bit thicker. The glute seams are actually not bad. We're gonna go a medium on the booty scale because it's not, you know, doing anything bad, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily enhancing the glutes, just definitely not squishing them down, which I appreciate. Probably not as much cellulite coverage as some of the other ones. These are actually very tall girl friendly. I have the tall length and they're a 29 inch inseam. Light compression overall, we do have a front seam, um, pretty minimal problems. Here is the full length view. And yeah, I'm not expecting a whole lot from the cold test, but these do feel like, you know, a nice step up from a regular legging. I do feel like they're a little bit cozy, but they're not gonna be like super, super warm. But with that, you still get kind of like a more flattering, snug legging shape. Okay, post cold test results. Definitely feeling a little cold. I have to say, I, I thought they would be worse. Like, I don't wanna give them a low on the warmth scale. Maybe we'll do low to medium because they are better than I thought, but I still did feel that cold metal when I sat down. Um, so it wasn't horrible, but definitely could be better on the warmth scale. But overall, I think these are like a super cute legging. Just, you know, don't expect the most warmth. Then I did buy a couple pairs that I felt like were advertised a lot on those like fleece lined legging websites or not websites, you know, like blog posts that I feel like, you know, the people who wrote the posts never actually tried the leggings. I'm like, I could almost put money on the fact that they never tried the leggings. Like, how could you suggest things that you've never tried? Anyways, a lot of them suggested the fleece lined leggings from UGG and we all know UGG like the slippers. So those are really soft on the inside. I figured they might have some good fleece lined leggings. Definitely a little bit pricey, especially when you see what the leggings are. So these are the UGG women's Ashley double knit leggings and I got a size small. You can get these on Amazon, that's where I got mine. But like we said at the beginning, I wanted more of like, I don't know, just like not a legging like this. You know, you'll see what I mean. So these just came in black and these are just these are just kind of like those Target leggings you'd, or those Hue leggings that anyone ever buy. I always got them at Nordstrom Rack when I was younger. Like the Hue leggings with the elastic waistband that you lean over and your entire butt shows because they're just like not opaque. These kind of remind me of those. So we have, do you see, you see this just, this is not up to the standard of what I think leggings 
are in 2022, nearly 2023. It's probably 2023 by the time I post this. So blast from the past. But we have a thick elastic waistband. Um, we have a front seam. Um, the UGG logo in the corner, it's it's not that bold, it just kind of looks bold with the lighting here, a little seam here. And the outside just has like, they're just cotton leggings. And I think that's really what I mean by like the old style of leggings when they were just cotton before they came out with like better athletic materials. But I will say the inside of these is like, it's like a fuzzy blanket, it's so soft. So, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice for the fuzziness, but it's looking pretty opaque as well. All right, Ugg, prove me wrong, prove me wrong. And then the thickness, not as thick as the old navy ones, but still got some thickness there. So let's try these. I think I'm mostly worried that these are just gonna make my butt look really saggy. That's not what I want, that's not what I want. Okay, so um, we saved the worst for last. Not necessarily, these are just like not exactly what I was looking for. Um, like these are like expensive leggings and it's giving like $10 Target leggings, you know? It's just, they're made of a cotton material. So it just never feels very luxurious to me. The inside is obviously super, super soft. So I hope that they are warm. It feels like they're like a, maybe like a medium thickness. They do have this elastic band at the waist, which is just like never very flattering. I'd say true to size if you're in between. You can really go either way with like a lot of these today. It just really depends if you like things a little bit more snug or if you want a little more space. I'd, I'd maybe size up in these. They do definitely have like a limit to their stretch. They are just cotton leggings, so they're not gonna be like the stretchiest, most form-fitting. Overall compression is about like light to medium. Um, I measured a 29 inch inseam. But these leggings also do not have a gusset. So again, just kind of speaking to that they just don't really feel like high quality. Um, I got a 29 inch inseam for measuring and it just doesn't really look like that. I think because um, there's no gusset, so that kind of takes away some of the length. I don't even know if this is worth a booty scale measurement. We're just gonna go low to medium, nothing crazy. And yeah, definitely a legging I would wear as a layer under things, not necessarily by themselves. Like, could you wear them by themselves? Maybe. Um, I don't know, I don't really think squat proofness should be an issue. Most of the leggings today, it wasn't an issue, but yeah, I really can't see anything through these. So they're definitely thick enough. Let's go do the warmth test. Cold test results, I'd say not too bad. I would give them a medium on the cold test, definitely thicker than the airy ones and the lemon ones. Um, and I could definitely see this being like a good layering piece, um, just maybe not a legging to be worn for activity. Definitely don't think that they are um, made for that. So they have their uses, just probably not my top choice. Okay, now a brand that I've never heard of, but I also saw a lot on those websites, but I really think that these are not leggings that are going to be worn by themselves. These are the brand Plush. They're the women's fleece lined cotton leggings, size small, $75. Just don't think that these should be $75. I think I could find a pair of cotton leggings for like 15 or 20. So uh, again, look at this little elastic waistband. No, no, no. This this definitely feels like the kind of legging that I talked about at the beginning of the video. These are leggings that you wear with stuff over it. These are not to be worn by themselves. We got a front seam. The cotton on the outside isn't quite as soft as Ugg. And the inside feels like a fleece sweatshirt material. So the Ugg ones were like more of like a furry fuzzy. These definitely feel like a classic fleece sweatshirt. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll just see how these are. Okay, the fact that there were multiple websites ranking these as like the best fleece line leggings. Are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? Because these are $75 cotton leggings. Even if these are okay in the end, it's just, they're just truly not worth the money. Honestly, like the Ugg ones. Um, unfortunately, I did not include an Amazon fleece line legging that is cotton based in case any of you guys are looking for that, but I am absolutely sure that they're out there. I even saw some on Amazon. So I would absolutely try those first. They're like $20 compared to $75. And cotton leggings are just never worth it. So this cotton specifically just, doesn't feel very soft on the outside. It's actually just really not soft. Um, the Ugg one was softer. Thinner elastic up here. I like that these are a little more high rise. These are like mid to high, but these have a lot less stretch to them, even less so than the Uggs. So we're getting more of a medium compression. It's just really hard to rank any of these in the booty scale because 
these weren't really meant to be worn by themselves. Again, just definitely a layering piece. And if they're meant to be layering, it doesn't really matter how they look. Again, like I'd rather not spend $75 on them. Like if these are even more expensive than some of the other leggings today that were actually like meant to be worn by themselves, have more just elements to the fabric and construction. I just don't really think these are going to be the ones that are worth it, but let's go outside and do the cold test. Okay, cold test results. Feeling a little bit cold. I would say these are just like a step down from the Ugg ones. Ugg ones are definitely a little bit warmer, so these get a low to medium on the warmth scale. So in case anyone is worried about the sheerness of these, um, I really don't think I can see much through it. And lastly, for every one of these videos, I have like a big thing of like notes that I go through. So, you know, we don't forget anything. And I did not include these in my notes. So I guess I forgot I bought these, but these are the CRZ Yoga. Um, I don't know the exact name, but CRZ Yoga fleece line leggings. CRZ Yoga is a very popular Amazon brand. They actually make really high quality activewear. I really like their sports bras, some of their bottoms, but again, they do have a lot of front seams. So these feel like a classic legging material on the outside, kind of like a sleek performance. They have a little top band, top seam, nothing crazy. Little internal pocket as well. Pretty tall waistband here. These ones might be the most like basic looking, like they just kind of look like a classic legging. And let's see the inside. We have like a, a light fleece lining. So here's the outside, kind of sleek performance. Here's the thickness, not super thick, I would say. And then here's the inside. Definitely got a little fleece lining going on. Nothing crazy thick, but let's give these a try. Okay guys, I am so sorry I saved these for last because these are these are amazing. I was putting them on and the whole time I was like, yes, 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 this is what I was looking for. So these are truly like a sleek performance legging that maintain a ton of stretch. Like I am not compressed. Well, I'm, com I'm a little bit compressed, but I'm not restricted at all, but they're a little bit thicker and they have a fleece lining. So if you are still looking for something to keep you active and just add a little extra layer of warmth, Sears Yoga, they know where it's at. I feel like these are what I wanted the Lululemon ones to be, but they were so tight, where these I have so much more freedom of motion. We also have a high rise. I'm getting the teeniest bit of gaping in the waist, but it's really not bad. I do think that these are going to stay up pretty well. The front seam is really minimally invasive. Mm, I forget what I rated this thickness. It's like between thin and medium. So not the thickest, not the thinnest, but it still just looks like a normal legging. You don't like look and you're like, oh, she's wearing like, some thick, some thick weird leggings, you know? So no seams down the side. The seams in the back are just very simple. I think, I think we're gonna do medium on the booty scale. It's not unflattering, it's not squishing the glutes down, but the seams could be just a teeny bit higher. So, you know, could improve a little bit. Definitely going to get some cellulite coverage. These are a little bit thicker. I'm for sure keeping these just as a nice warmer legging. And I like that they're warm, but they still have that sleek performance material. So they're not gonna cling to all the pet fur. And we know that, you know, I always have pet fur on my clothes. So it's just nice to have something I don't have to lint roll every two seconds. These are also a nice 28 inch inseam. So pretty tall girl friendly. Um, I'd say true to size. If you're in between, you could maybe size down because they are so stretchy and compression is like light to medium. So again, not super compressive, still maintains a lot of stretch. The fleece lining is, it's like on the thinner side, but it's still there, but let's go do the cold test. Post cold test, a little bit cold. Um, I would say I'm kind of between, I think that these are more like low to medium on the warmth test. So definitely, you know, not going to be as warm as some of them, but a little bit warmer than like the Petula Bear warmth. So these are definitely going to be a good um, like walking legging for me just because keep me a little bit warmer than my usual leggings, but they still feel like leggings and don't squish me down in weird ways. We are now going to weigh all of the leggings. I have my food scale. Maybe we'll do grams. That seems reasonable. Okay, just weighed all of them. And the heaviest are the Old Navy, which makes sense. Those were like the thickest, the warmest, and the lightest. It's pretty close between the plush and the Petula. The plush ones don't really like, the Petulas I do like, so. And here are all of the leggings layered up, single thickness. I think this is about the correct order. So at the bottom, um, kind of ranking about the same in thinness will be Aerie and Petula. Then we have Lululemon, 
a little bit thicker is Sears Yoga. Then a little jump to the other Amazon, the Willet ones. And then we have the Ugg and Plush, which, you know, I think the Plush one may be under the Willet Amazon ones. And then second to thickest is Athleta, and then the thickest is Old Navy. Okay guys, that is it for the video. I know this was a long video because I just spent three entire hours filming, so I'm tired. And I apologize if at the end, we were not making as much sense. So let's just do a little recap. I'm just gonna choose my top favorites. Um, I think definitely the CRZ yoga ones are just like a good in between, if not too warm, but you know, just a little warmer than your regular leggings, but they still feel like a normal legging. Still obviously love the Petula Bear Warmth. Probably the least warm out of these today. Maybe about the same as the airy ones, but I just love that those are the only ones with no front seam, got a flattering waistband. And then in terms of like the warmest of the day, it might be between the Athleta or the Old Navy. The Old Navy may be a little less flattering, a little warmer. The Athleta are still nice and thick, but just like a teeny bit more flattering and I really liked the stretch of those. But overall, we definitely found a lot more options today. When I tried to film this like a year ago, none of the options were good. So I'm really happy to bring you guys lots of warm, legging options. If you have any other suggestions for, you know, kind of comprehensive videos like this, testing the best X legging, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.